Solution hit people of color the hardest. A U of I study says yes. WCI 3's Jane Kim live from our newsroom. Jane, this was a civil and environmental engineering professor leading this study. What did he find? Jennifer, he says air pollution exposures from more than 5,000 emission source types were examined from places like industry and agriculture. A national study shows that air pollution is a bigger concern for people of color than it is for Caucasians. U of I professor Christopher Tessum was part of that research. He says the data shows the problem is coming from all over. Some of the causes they found are related to off-road vehicles and equipment, construction, and even road dust. And so we find that it's the vast majority of all the sources that are causing, that are contributing to this problem. And that there aren't really any of them that are, you know, causing a lot more of the a lot more of the pollution or a lot more of the disparity than, than any other sources. Tessum hopes that with these results, his team can work with those dealing with the problem in the future. One thing that I think should in general be a priority is to, you know, make sure that we're um, going forward working with, you know, the people in these communities and the people that advocate for them and organizations to make sure that we're, you know, trying to implement solutions that are actually useful to them. We reached out to Faith in Place, a local environmental justice agency about Champaign and central Illinois specifically. Leaders say the study may have been done nationwide, but it still hits home, and everyone can do their part to help the issue. We need to make a policy going forward uh, as we think, shape our energy policy, as we shape our uh, infrastructure policy that will make all of us share the benefits of a cleaner, uh, better future. Faith in Place tells us that Illinois leads the country in the number of fossil fuel burning plants located in communities of color. In the newsroom, Jane Kim, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Jane, thank you. It's one of the big